Thank you for tuning in to another episode of WGC Fits. Today we are joined by Captain Center Strike, Mr. Trent Maxwell, and we are going to be doing a little comparison between the old Mizuno 923 hot metal and the new Mizuno 925 hot metal. Um, before we dive in, please like and subscribe. Um, let us know if you have any comments in the comment section. That helps us out and we appreciate it. So, Mr. Trent, yes, where sir. is this question coming from? Well, this question, actually I talked to a customer today and mm -hmm. I thought, well, shoot, this could be an interesting one. This could be an interesting one. If you one. got this question, I figure more people got this question, right? right. There Absolutely. we go. Absolutely. So, when we're talking about these two clubs, mm -hmm. right? And these two lines, I think, is more maybe a better way to kind of approach this. Yeah, Definitely, the there's some here. differences, aesthetically speaking, right? And I think you kind of hit the nail on the head. They are differentiated a bit better, I think, in the 925 versus the 923 window. And the thing that I'm going to say is I like, especially in this specific model, I think the shaping just makes a little more sense in the hot metal, a little more appeasing than the... Uh, 923 was right just looks the part a little better i would say i would agree um, uh, there's that... also some tech stuff going on but we'll we'll touch base on that here later mm -hmm. um but yeah no i think that's for me it's just a cleaner cut between the models right that's the first thing and foremost and i think they have a lot better bag appeal if i'm being honest um i think they look nicer so they do look pretty sweet that's a good looking golf club mm -hmm. man. like I, I like what they did here so we've had 925 for a little bit now. Mm -hmm. A couple, a couple months, about a month? Uh, Maybe two months? No. No, about a month? Actually, not, it not, is. It's not even it quite a month. less than a month. I think it's like three and a half weeks. Yeah, the, the official launch date was you know, yeah. just a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been good. I mean, the I I was reluctant because 923 was so good. Great. I know that 921 was so good and mm -hmm. kind of the, each generation has gotten better and better and better. Somehow, so, somehow they keep doing somehow it. Somehow they keep getting yeah, better. Mm -hmm. um, you touched on it. I would say the biggest thing I see is visually they are, they're more separated. Mm -hmm. I would say if I had a complaint with the other one, you could see the separations. If you had all three models, the Pro, the Hot Metal and the High Launch all together, you could kind of see a little bit of the differences. Mm -hmm. Um, but you had to really, really pinpoint them out. Yeah. Now, uh, now in 925, I think you can really see, you can pick it up and know which one's which. Yeah, you can tell what's going on. Um, like you almost said, the, you can tell what the intent of the club is almost. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, to your point, the bag appeal is certainly better. They've actually classified them now on the back. Mm -hmm. You can see them color-wise, they're yes. different, which is good. Very cool. Uh, I know in many of my fittings last year, I would have, I, I probably had to grab both heads just to make sure that I had one of the heads because oh, I, they were I, really close. I've definitely done that. You come out and you're like, oh man, I got the wrong one. Right. <laughs> you know, that's uh, definitely a thing. I would say this one's a little bit shorter from heel to toe. I agree. Uh, you said about the tech side of things, there is tungsten in the new one. Correct. Um, so the price did go up slightly, but again, for the amount of tungsten they put in, I think it's justified. And we'll talk real quick about the price. I think that still, from a value perspective, mm -hmm. it's tough to get in a better window than these. Right. I'm just going to say that flat right. out. These I mean, but again, bang for buck. Well. With the shafts they offer, with the grips that they offer, it's mm -hmm. it's magnificent. It's incredible. It's a fitter's, <laughs> it's a fitter's dream because we it, have lots of choices. It makes it easy for us, mm -hmm. you know? Correct. Um, all right, let's start off. Let's see you hit a couple here and then maybe talk a lot to start off just feel. Okay. Difference sure. in feel. So I don't know that I've ever even hit hot metal, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. Come to say I haven't either actually. He's putting them in the bag, guys. <laughs> right. He wants an old set. Yeah. <laughs> Ball go far. Well, that's the one thing this club does. Ball yeah. go far. That's a good representation though, because it's it's not one that absolutely kills you on spin. And sometimes you hit the same shot twice. Right. <laughs> I have to go after my daughter. You know, she hits it farther than I do now. So we got well, to get know. her something. I got to get Cap something. Captain that... Center Strike's getting up there a little bit, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> well, not too bad, though. No? <laughs> oh, that was bad. There's the skinny one. Oops. <laughs> I get one more. You give him one mulligan. Although for a miss, it's not a terrible miss. So it's, 
That's the point of this club. Oops. All right. So not bad. I mean, you can definitely tell game improvement, but it's certainly from a feel standpoint, it feels, to me, it feels way better than most. When we look at where that last shot that you just hit landed, mm -hmm. that's why we know it's a game improvement iron. Because it went the same distance? You got away with murder on that golf shot. <laughs> yeah, that was not the <laughs> You got away with murder. So like I said, from a setup position, definitely smaller from heel to toe. It, mm -hmm. it frames the ball better. The shaping is better in my mind in this in the uh, 925. And I got to say, uh, the way they're playing with chrome versus matte in terms of like finishes, I think it looks better just across the board. Well, I got away with a lot on that one. Oh, for two. Forgiveness is showing. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, for two. I want to miss one and still get a 47 degree landing angle. Right. There, there, That's there you go. One. That was better. That was better. We got there. That was a little better. Well, I would say there's where the tungsten comes into play. Mm -hmm. Is those first two were definitely clunky. To be fair, that's not a terrible group still. No, no, I think I would take those. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He gets a mulligan. He gets one mulligan yeah. every three shots, you know? All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, so that's, in all honesty, that's that's really good, right? Um, now, feel. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about it. Where are you at? So, definitely a denser feel. Mm -hmm. um, it feels, again, probably from a game improvement standpoint, some of the game improvement golf clubs are definitely more clickier. Like this a, one like is a not, hollow, this one, tinny kind this of This one feel. feels very dense. Mm -hmm. And that's, again, gotta probably... got to be the tungsten, right? Probably a sure little of the tungsten. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness and the feel side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, still long. Yeah, I mean, comparable. Still very playable. They're, they're, they're very, very comparable because... A lot, a lot tighter. Well, it is, and needs to be said, right? The miss, mm -hmm. you know? The miss one as far as the good one with the other one. Well, and here's the interesting part, though, right? We always talk about this, right? What's the better player's miss? In line and short, mm -hmm. right? Not necessarily maintaining in right and left, you know, because that's that doesn't that can hurt us on a golf mm -hmm. course pretty good. Look at that, right? Like, right. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a miss, but it's mm -hmm. where you want it. That's where we want the miss. That's findable. Cool. That they've been able they've been able to do that i can't i can't describe it anywhere else right to see a game improvement iron that can do that that's good you mm -hmm. know um again they're both great clubs but I, I really think that this is a good evolution towards what i would like to see more companies do in the game improvement window right you know yeah, I think plus both a new, good. cool new fitting system too so. well you know we, we get to have our fun too yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that's really cool. all right um i like it man i think it's a good one you know I think so too. I think it's it's I one that we've already had good try. success with. Mm -hmm. You know, I've definitely moved a couple sets. I know everybody has. Um, Mizuno tends to do pretty well with us, and I think we kind of touched the base on why, right? They they do a really good job of just creating a good quality product, and it's at a price point that's really good too. And that's you can't state enough about how important that is. And certainly with the tagline, nothing feels like a Mizuno. Yeah. I mean, here's a cast golf club. I know it's the. Chromoly, but mm -hmm. there's a cast golf club that feels good. Good. It doesn't, yeah. feel, it doesn't feel bad. Clunky. It doesn't feel, mm -hmm. it looks good. It feels good. And it performs. It performs well, really well. Like I said, highly recommend. If you guys are interested in any of the uh, the new 925 JPX line, we have them here. Come schedule them up for a fitting. We'll get you set up. And like I said, we'll see you later. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.